So here's the deal. You know, I was being thirsty. And I said to myself, man, I wonder what Tahiri Jose from Love & Hip Hop New York is doing. I mean, I haven't seen her or the booty in like forever. Cardi B voice. So I was like, let me go find out what one of my favorite Latinas is doing. And I moseyed on over to her Simstagram page of my 411 bottles of lotion minding my business. And I did not know that a thirsty blogger like me was going to go and get inspired and learn some knowledge today and everything and learn, you know, some history facts. I had no idea, Jesus. I thought I was just going to go there and, and, and handle my business and, and let that be that. But, you know, anyways, so I saw this picture right here. Uh, and I said, man, Tahiri's booty is looking quite bootylicious. But what are those statues that she's standing in front of? Is she trying to show, you know, the statues, the ass or something like I, I didn't know what was, what was going on or whatever. So look at me stuttering. I mean, the ass has me uh, talking extra ignorant right now. But anyway, so but this is a serious subject. But let me read to you why she was standing in front of those statues. She said 57 years ago today, these four men took a stand by sitting at a white only lunch counter and refused to leave when they were denied service. This was huge in the civil rights movement. They were beaten, spat on, even burned with hot coffee. <gasps> Could you have done it? I know I couldn't. <clears throat> I literally got chills when I visited this incredible statue on the campus of North Carolina A&T State University. I, are those hand clapping emojis? I think that's what they are. Anyways, they're so dark I can't tell. No racist. Anyways, hashtag February 1, hashtag Greensboro 4. Thank you, Ezel Blair Jr. Franklin McLean, Joseph McNeil, excuse me, J Franklin McCain, not McLean. Look how stupid I am. Anyways, uh, Joseph McNeil and David Richmond, we are all forever indebted to you. Hashtag Team Tahiri, hashtag Black History. Thank you very much, Tahiri Jose. Now, I was wondering what the purpose of having all that ass was apparently there's a whole nother brain in that ass or maybe even a brain in each cheek that's why this woman is so smart she has that big old beautiful brain in her head and that big old beautiful brain size booty big old einstein brain booty that's a smart ass woman i mean she's teaching me all types of things jesus i had absolutely no no idea about the greensboro four Shoot, if you would have asked me, I would have thought that the Greensboro Four had something to do with Four Leaf Clovers of the Irish. I, I don't even know what, Jesus. Something to do with Snoop Dogg and smoking weed. I, I would not I would never have been able to figure this out, my Lord. Greensboro Four, I had never heard of them before, Jesus. So I'm just happy that I went to Tahiri's Instagram page. My thirst brought me there, and I learned something. Now I'm thirsting for knowledge. Now I want to find out everything that I can about Negro history, I mean, Black History Month. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Did you know about the Greensboro 4? I bet you heifers in the comment section didn't. Because the only thing y'all know is we even hating. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, and Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Thank you to the Greensboro 4 for fucking shit up and overthrowing that restaurant, knocking tables to the floor like Jesus in the Bible. What? Oh, I'm sorry. They silently protested as they got their asses whooped well whatever however they protested you know your style of protesting is your style of protesting me personally i would have karate kicked the fucking table in half i would have done my axe kicking whoop -cha! i'm just you know you would have heard wu-tang music playing in the background and shit but that's just how i get down but anyway so let me know what you think about it all below meat magazine and youtube meat magazine .com. meat magazine on twitter meat magazine 7 on google plus and meat magazine blog on instagram damn i missed the hairy and that booty on Love & Hip Hop. I wish she would come back for season 8 because Love & Hip Hop New York season 7 sucked. Sis, we needed you for real. It was terrible. I hope you didn't watch it. It was an abortion to my eyes. Can't believe I watched one or two episodes of that crap. I had to tune out real quick. Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, here I fucking come. I officially love Love & Hip Hop Atlanta more than I like Love & Hip Hop New York. I know. Me saying that, you know it's really the end, right? <laughs>